Archaeologists digging in the Egyptian desert thought they'd found another ancient burial until they uncovered a skull that stopped them cold. It wasn't animal and it wasn't human. Its proportions defied every known species on Earth. Now, scientists are scrambling to explain how this mysterious skull ended up buried beneath 5,000 years of sand and whether it belongs to something the ancient Egyptians might have worshipped or feared. The story began in late 2024 when a joint team of Egyptian and European researchers excavating near the Baharia Oasis, a region famous for its Valley of the Golden Mummies, stumbled upon a burial shaft sealed for more than 3,000 years. At first, it appeared to be a typical late-period tomb, complete with canopic jars, funerary amulets, and inscriptions invoking Osiris and Anubis. But at the lowest chamber, something extraordinary awaited. A sarcophagus carved from a single block of basalt, its lid etched with unfamiliar symbols. When the team opened it, they found the remains of what appeared to be a humanoid figure, wrapped in delicate linen and gold leaf, but with a skull that immediately defied explanation. The cranium was elongated far beyond any known human deformation practice. Unlike the artificial skull elongations found in ancient Peru or Africa, this one showed no signs of binding or compression. The skull's shape was natural. The bone structure itself was different, denser, smoother, and lacking the usual cranial sutures that separate human skull plates. Its eye sockets were unusually large and oval, and its nasal cavity far smaller than that of a human. When scans were performed, the results shocked the team. The skull's internal volume was nearly 25% greater than that of a modern human. At first, many suspected a hoax, but radiocarbon testing confirmed the bone's authenticity over 2,800 years old. DNA extraction was attempted by the University of Zurich's Genetic Research Division, but the results were inconclusive. The mitochondrial DNA fragments retrieved didn't match any known human haplogroup, ancient or modern. It was, as one geneticist put it, like sequencing the genome of a ghost. Adding to the mystery, the tomb's inscriptions contained hieroglyphs that have never been documented elsewhere. One phrase, repeated several times, translated roughly to the watchers from the sky who came before Ra. Egyptologists initially dismissed this as poetic symbolism, but as more details of the burial emerged, that explanation seemed less certain. The sarcophagus was surrounded by unusual artifacts, metallic fragments resembling copper but containing trace amounts of iridium, a rare element more common in meteorites than in Earth's crust. Nearby, small spherical stones were found, magnetized and arranged in a circular pattern. Even more bizarrely, the body had been wrapped in cloth that still emitted faint radiation, detectable even after millennia. It was not enough to be dangerous, but enough to suggest the use of materials unknown to the ancient Egyptians. Scientists are divided. Some propose that the skull represents an undiscovered branch of early Homo sapiens, a species that evolved alongside us but vanished before history began. Others argue it could be evidence of ritual modification or disease. Yet none of those theories fit the data. The skull's perfect symmetry, unusual bone chemistry, and lack of deformation scars point to something completely different. Dr. Nadia El Masri, an archaeologist with Cairo University, described her first encounter with the find. When I saw it, I thought it must be a model, a sculpted representation. But the scans showed it was real bone, real tissue. Whatever this being was, it lived and died thousands of years ago, and it was not human as we define it. Subsequent excavations at the site revealed two more anomalies. First, a series of shallow petroglyphs carved into the tomb's walls, showing figures with elongated heads standing beside humans, holding staffs or tools that emitted rays or light. Second, a tunnel branching away from the main shaft that led to a collapsed chamber filled with vitrified sand. Sand melted into glass. Temperatures required for such a reaction would exceed 1,500 degrees Celsius, impossible with the technology known to exist in ancient Egypt. 
Researchers are now performing isotope analysis on the skull and surrounding artifacts, hoping to determine their geographic and elemental origins. Preliminary findings suggest that the skull's bone composition contains isotopes inconsistent with those found in the Nile region, or even on Earth's surface rocks. As outlandish as it sounds, some geologists have pointed out that the isotopic ratios resemble samples taken from meteorite impact sites. The discovery has reopened one of archaeology's oldest and most controversial questions. Did early civilizations encounter beings they later worshipped as gods? Ancient Egyptian texts often speak of those who came from the stars, the Netaru, divine beings who brought wisdom, order, and knowledge of the cosmos. Mainstream scholars have always regarded these as mythological, but now, with physical evidence that refuses to conform to known human biology, those myths are taking on new weight. Yet amidst the excitement, the Egyptian government has restricted public access to the excavation site citing concerns about preservation and security. Leaked reports claim that a second skull was found deeper in the shaft, smaller, more delicate, and encased in a resin-like substance that resists carbon dating. If true, this could indicate an entire burial group, perhaps a species we've never seen before. The discovery of a skull that isn't human has left scientists questioning everything we know about our ancient past. But deep beneath the sands of Egypt, another mystery waits. Saqqara, a vast necropolis filled with secrets that have baffled archaeologists for centuries. Join me as we descend below the surface to uncover what truly lies beneath Egypt's most mysterious burial ground. For centuries, the ancient necropolis of Saqqara has quietly held one of Egypt's greatest secrets. Buried beneath the sands, hidden from the prying eyes of history. What lies beneath its vast sacred grounds is a mystery that has baffled archaeologists and historians alike. Yet recent discoveries have begun to unravel the deep layers of history hidden beneath Saqqara's surface, revealing secrets that might change everything we thought we knew about ancient Egypt. Sitting along the western banks of the Nile, just a short distance from Cairo, Saqqara is most famous for being the burial ground of the ancient Egyptian city of Memphis, which was once the capital of the Old Kingdom. It is perhaps best known for the Steppe Pyramid of Gyoza, the world's first monumental stone structure, but the site is far more than just one iconic pyramid. It is a sprawling, multi-layered necropolis filled with tombs, burial shafts, and hidden chambers that have, until recently, remained largely unexplored. But in 2018, the site became the focal point of an archaeological breakthrough. Beneath the sands of Saqqara, a hidden tomb was discovered, a tomb that promised to shine a light on Egypt's ancient past like never before. In 2018, Egyptian archaeologists unearthed a series of mysterious burial shafts in the vicinity of the Steppe Pyramid. The discovery? More than 30 sealed wooden coffins, many still intact, some dating back more than 20,500 years. This find was monumental, but it was just the beginning. What seemed to be an ordinary tomb turned out to be the tip of the iceberg, a hidden world beneath the surface, waiting to be uncovered. These coffins belonged to high-ranking officials, priests and nobles who had lived during the 26th dynasty, a period often overshadowed by earlier, more famous eras of Egyptian history. But there was something even more astonishing about these coffins. Many were adorned with vivid colours and intricate carvings, their interiors still well preserved, offering a glimpse into a time long past. One of the most shocking elements of this discovery is the realization that these were not just simple tombs. These coffins were meticulously designed with symbols that seemed to speak of something greater, a connection to the gods perhaps, or a secret knowledge passed down through generations. The ornate decorations are not merely artistic, they contain clues about the religious beliefs, practices and societal structures that governed the lives of Egypt's elite. The fact that these coffins, some of which were sealed for thousands of years, 
are still so well preserved challenges everything we thought we knew about ancient embalming techniques and the climate in which they were buried. As the excavations continued, even more startling discoveries followed. In 2020, archaeologists revealed that beneath Saqqara, hidden deep within the tombs and burial shafts, was a network of secret chambers previously unknown to anyone. These chambers are thought to have been used for a variety of purposes, perhaps as burial sites for Egypt's nobility or as sanctuaries for important religious ceremonies. But the exact purpose of these chambers remains shrouded in mystery. What was their function? And why were they hidden for so long beneath layers of rock and sand untouched for millennia? Adding to the intrigue, experts have uncovered evidence that suggests these chambers may have been part of a far larger complex, perhaps one that extended beneath the steppe pyramid itself. Some speculate that Saqqara was not just a burial site, but a key religious center in the ancient world, one whose influence spread far beyond Memphis. Could it be that beneath this necropolis, a lost city or even an entire forgotten civilization exists? The possibilities are mind-boggling, and the mystery deepens with every new discovery. In 2021, a new breakthrough gave the world an even deeper glimpse into Saqqara's hidden history. Archaeologists uncovered a massive, previously unknown tomb belonging to a high-ranking priest named Wahi. The tomb, which dates back to around 2400 years ago, is one of the most complete and best-preserved tombs ever found in Egypt. Inside, the walls are adorned with stunning hieroglyphs and paintings that depict the priest's life, his connection to the gods, and his role within the complex social and religious structure of ancient Egypt. This discovery, like the others, raised more questions than answers. Why was such a significant tomb so hidden for so long?